Greetings from Pastor Lisa and the Solon United Methodist Church. Back for our midweek worship time called our Music Moment. Um, I hope you printed out the words that I sent along with this video. And uh, if you'll join me in our opening prayer. Loving God, you have called us to spend these moments with you. Quiet our spirits, open our hearts, and let our minds focus on you. Help us to feel your presence as we remember your redeeming love for us that brings us hope in uncertainty and peace in the assurance that we can never be separated from your love. Let us always remember that you are working in the world to bring healing to the broken places and you work all things together for good according to your purpose. Help us to be ready to hear and respond to your word. Amen. The scripture passage I chose from our lectionary passages this week is found in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verses 26 through 39. In the same way, the Spirit comes to help our weakness. We don't know what we should pray, but the Spirit himself pleads our case with unexpected groans. The one who searches hearts knows how the Spirit thinks, because he pleads for the saints, consistent with God's will. We know that God works all things together for good for the ones who love God, for those who are called according to his purpose. We know this because God knew them in advance, and he decided in advance that they would be conformed to the image of his son. That way his son would be the first of many brothers and sisters. Those who God decided in advance would be conformed to his son, he also called those whom he called, he also made righteous. Those whom he made righteous, he also glorified. So what are we going to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? He didn't spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. Won't he also freely give us all things with him? Who will bring a charge against God's elect people? It is God who acquits them. Who is going to convict them? It is Christ Jesus who died, even more, who was raised, and who also is at God's right side. It is Christ Jesus who pleads our case for us. Who will separate us from Christ's love? Will we be separated by trouble or distress or harassment or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, we are being put to death all day long for your sake. We are treated like sheep for slaughter. But in all these things, we win a sweeping victory through the one who loved us. I'm convinced that nothing can separate us from God's love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Not death or life, not angels or rulers, not present things or future things, not powers or height or depth, or any other thing that is created. Thanks be to God for these words of promise to us today. The song that I chose to sing this week is called Shout to the North. I thought with such great promises that we read from our book in Romans, we should be shouting it to the world. Women, men, the church, let's all shout as we sing. Men of faith, rise up and sing of the great and glorious King strong when you are weak, in your brokenness complete. Shout to the north and the south, sing to the east and the west, Jesus is Savior to all, Lord of heaven and earth. Rise up, women of the truth. We've been through fire 
you join me in our closing prayer? Faithful and surprising God, we come to you with restored hope and renewed courage by your encouraging words of faithful love for us. In these chaotic and uncertain times, we have allowed a host of worries and frustrations to crowd out your word for us. We have often failed to listen to your instruction and have chosen our own roads. Our stubborn resistance often blocks the blessings you have for us. The ideas of humility and self-sacrifice don't look like successful career paths to us, but that is how we transform the world. On the other hand, we often have a hard time imagining that we are worthy of your mercy and forgiveness and insignificant in your kingdom. Yet you tell us that we are brothers and sisters to Christ, and you have called us, made us righteous, and glorified us through Christ. Help us to be your beloved and chosen who are so confident in your presence that we dare to step out in faith to go in unlikely places and unlikely ways to share your good news with others needing your healing love. Teach us to serve you boldly and joyfully, celebrating the many ways for us to serve you, knowing nothing can separate us from your love in Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. I hope these words have brought you comfort and peace and confidence, and you can go out with these words of our benediction and sending. Go forth with joy, celebrating the hope we have in God. Go forth with love, sharing the compassion we receive in Christ. Go forth with peace, using the power of the Holy Spirit. Go and serve the Lord. Amen. Have a great week.